We are going to take a look at how we can have advanced custom tooltips for our WordPress website by just using the Gutenberg editor. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit Sharma from the team Pose Myth. And if you want to deep dive in the world of WordPress using Gutenberg, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. Let me first show you how this advanced custom tooltips work. So let's say we have this page on our website and here we have three icons and at the first glance a user or the visitor on our website will get confused and will not have a proper idea of what these three boxes are all about. So in order to give a little bit of guidance here we can use a tooltip and let me show you how this tooltip will look like. So if we mouse over on the first box that is the text one. Here we can see a text based tooltip. Here we have entered our custom text. And for the next one, which shows image. So let's mouse over on this. So this is how we can add an image for our tooltip. And in the same way for the videos. Here we can also add a video for the tooltip. Along with that, this tooltip is going to be interactive. So if we have a video in the tooltip, then it is required that the user will be able to interact with this. So we can surely make this tooltip interactive and the user will be able to play this video and do other things, whatever we enter here in the tooltip. Let me take you to the back end of this page and show you how you can create some advanced looking tooltips like this. So let's go ahead and edit this page, open this in a new tab. And here we have just added an info box that is coming from the plus add-ons for Gutenberg. And if we go in the advanced section, here we have the plus extra option. If we click on this, here the first option is magic scrolls. So we are going to cover that in a separate video. But below this, we have an option for tooltip. So here it is turned on right now. And the content type for this tooltip is set on content. We can choose reusable block as well, which we are going to cover in just a few minutes. So right now, if we select content, we can enter our custom content here. Or if you want to take it to the next level, you can also link that to a dynamic field. So here you can choose all the dynamic field options that we have here. But right now, just to keep it simple, we can enter any simple text here. And after this, we have options. So here is the position for our tooltip. Right now, it is set on top. We can set it to all these positions that are mentioned here. So maybe you can set it to left. So the tooltip will go on the left hand side. And below that, we can define the width of our tooltip. So if you want, you can increase or decrease the size of your tooltip. So if you mouse over here, we can see that our tooltip is shifted towards right. And that's because we don't have enough space on the left hand side. So we need to make sure that we keep the size of the tooltip in proportion with our page design. So here, if we set it to right start. So this is how it's going to look. And after that, we have offset and distance. So you can play around with that as well. So let's say if we keep 60 pixel for distance, so you can see that the tooltip is now shifted towards right 60 pixel. So this is how you can play around with that. And after this, we have arrow. So the arrow that we see here, this is the one. So if we turn this off, now you can see there is no arrow. So let's keep it on. And after this, we have triggers. So how we want this tooltip to trigger. So by default, it is set on hover. And that's how the normal tooltips work. But if you want, you can go ahead and choose on click event. So this is how it's going to work only when we click on this element. So let's keep it on hover. And after this, we have an option for animation. So we can select any animation from here. So let's choose this one and let's set the duration of in and out. So this is how it's going to work. And after this, we have an interesting option that is follow cursor. And right now it is set to none, but we can set it to default or maybe we can choose horizontal, vertical or initial. So let's first select horizontal and let's update our page. And if we refresh our front end, 
here is the tooltip and now you can see it's following the mouse cursor horizontally if we move the cursor vertically it will not follow our cursor and if we select default and then update our page and let's refresh the front end once again and now you can see our tooltip is following our cursor continuously in the horizontal as well as vertical direction so in the same way we can set it to vertical so that it will follow the cursor in the vertical direction or we can set it to initial so let's first update this and let's refresh our page here and now if we enter the mouse from the bottom we can see that the tooltip is starting from the place where we entered our cursor if we enter our cursor from the top left the tooltip will start from the top left corner so this is how it will follow the cursor from where it initiates on the element so we can keep it on default and after this we have interactive so for this one so once we turn this option on but for interactive we need to keep the follow cursor to none and let's update our page and let's refresh our front end now if we mouse over here we can see our tooltip and for the interactivity we can come over on this tooltip and copy the text from here so for example you have entered any code here or any information that you want people to copy so people can go ahead and interact with this tooltip and and do things like copying text and watching the youtube video as we saw here and after this we have visibility hidden so if we want to hide this tooltip for tablet and mobile we can do that from here so let me just reset it from here for the next element we come back here in the advance and in the plus extra here instead of content we have selected reusable block and here we have the list of reusable blocks that we have created in the back end so here we can edit this reusable block from here itself so we can open this in a new tab and if we have not selected any reusable block we get an option to create a new one so in this case we have selected our image tooltip and this is the image tooltip reusable block and here we have just added a simple image and this is what we see in the front end so once we select this reusable block again we can set the width so we can play around with that so if we update this here and refresh our front end we can now see the bigger size image in the same way for the third element we have we go to advance and in the plus extra for the tooltip for this one we have selected reusable block again and we have the video tooltip reusable block so let's edit this in the new tab and see what's inside it so here is a video tooltip reusable block and as you can see it's just a simple youtube embed video and if you mouse over on this element this is how it's going to look now as you can see we can play this video to interact with this tooltip and this is only possible if we select the interactivity option so here we need to make sure that this interactive option should be turned on take another example in this tooltip itself and for this third element where we are using a video here in the reusable block let's add a little bit of text so let's arrange this in center and after this let's add tp button let's align this in center again and let's update this and now let's refresh our front end so here you can see our tooltip now got some interactive content we have a video we have a text that we can copy and we have a button that we can use for navigation so this is how easy it is to create some advanced looking custom tooltips for your wordpress website by using the plus add-ons for gutenberg so if you like this video then make sure you hit the like button and if you want to watch more videos like this then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next one